Today, I'm gonna be trying a game on this Chromebook. Chromebooks are known for being really cheap, so it's definitely gonna be pretty hard to game on this. Okay, so inside of this specific Chromebook, it has eight gigabytes of RAM, an Intel N2000 processor, which I've never heard of, and also it uses UHD Intel graphics. I paid exactly $200 for this Chromebook, and it looks a little bit bigger than most of the Chromebooks that I've seen. Maybe they updated it because it's like a 2023 model, but it literally is a Chromebook, but it it looks like a normal kind of PC. It doesn't even really look like a Chromebook. Okay, so I have it turning on and by the specs that they had listed, the screen quality was pretty bad. I'll have all the specs up on the screen right now for the actual screen, but I've never set up a Chromebook. I'm curious to see if it's, yeah, it's pretty similar to the normal ones, the normal PCs, but it just reminds me to like one of these school PCs, bro. I just set up the laptop and so far it feels pretty good. And I actually have some hope that it will be at least semi-decent for gaming because it's definitely like a newer version of most Chromebooks. It looks like pretty good to be honest. So I'm just going to download all the games and then we'll just see how they all run. All right. So this is how we have the setup right now. I have this tripod recording the actual Chromebook right in front of me. So I have like literally no space, but I had to use GeForce now because on Chromebook, you can't like download almost anything because it's all meant for like Windows, right? So I had to actually get GeForce now, which is like one of the only things you can download. And basically our super Super budget $200 Chromebook is going to turn into a NASA PC with a 4080, but it's connecting to someone else's like PC in a different server. So we're going to have a little bit of latency lag. Hopefully that makes sense. But yeah, it's basically going to just be a little bit delayed, but we're, we're probably going to be getting like 160, 200 FPS or something like that. It's just going to be like kind of fake FPS. This is the only way I've actually seen people play games on Chromebook other than like Roblox and stuff like that. So we're just going to see like how much of a delay it really has. All right. So it says we're ready to play. And then this is my account. This is like my normal account that I always play on. And hopefully the screen doesn't look too bad. IRL, it actually looks really like bad, to be honest. That's definitely like one of the main things that is lacking with this PC. All right, so we're loading into Creative right now and we are in Direct X 12, but it's literally all low settings because when I try and restart the game to go into performance mode, it seems like it doesn't really want me to. So we're just running Direct X 12, but keep in mind, we have literally the lowest settings we possibly can have. Okay, and then this is how the game feels. We have 240 FPS on a Chromebook and it does not feel as bad as it did on Mac. Again, I had to do this exact same thing on Mac because um, Mac, you couldn't really download Fortnite since it was banned. But I think this feels even better than it did on Mac. And the MacBook, keep in mind, was like an extra grand or something. All right, I don't know if you guys can actually tell from watching the video, but there is like input delay, of course. But I think if I'm being completely honest, it is a little bit more input delay compared to a console. And I, it's kind of hard for me to get used to it. But I've only been playing on this for two minutes. I'm kind of getting used to all this input delay. But if you played on this for like a couple weeks, bro, you definitely definitely would just get used to all this and your sense would adjust and everything. Like, look, bro, I can still build and this is on a Chromebook. The only problem is I don't see, know if you guys can actually tell on camera, but it does get a little bit blurry right now. Like when I'm building a lot, it looks like it's not holding good resolution. It has to like scale down just to like match with all the movement and everything. But it still says we're getting 240 FPS, but it definitely feels like I'm getting like 50 FPS right now, to be honest. I'm actually really curious how it's going to be when I go in game to actually play because it's seems like in game the FPS will be a little bit worse since there's a lot going on. So let's just test that out real quick. All right, we're about to get in the battle bus and it still is showing that it's getting 240 FPS. So let's see how much worse it actually is in game. I don't know what you guys think of this map, but I'm definitely not a fan. And look at that frame drop. That is a solid frame drop for a couple seconds. Oh my. Uh, Yeah, we definitely have a little bit of lag right now. Yeah, this PC definitely does not like skydiving. It was lagging like crazy. Easy, bro. Dude, the resolution literally goes down like I'm watching a YouTube video or something. Like, it just gets blurry when there's a lot going on. Okay, this guy, I don't know how good he is. Wait, since when did they bring this shotgun back, bro? Oh, yeah, okay. Yep. Nice. I feel like if I just got used to this, like I actually could just play on Chromebook. Obviously I wouldn't because I have better PCs, but like I feel like if a kid only had a Chromebook, bro, and you just only played on this and you'd never played on anything better, you wouldn't even really be complaining at all. That entire time in creative, I was playing on this Chromebook keyboard and it was not bad at all. It was actually perfectly fine. Oh, oh, I forgot. I didn't even realize this was an SMG. Okay, wait, this guy looks like an AI though. Yep, 37. Yeah, I do feel, it looks, it feels like there's mouse acceleration or something. I don't know. It's kind of hard for me to get used to aiming on this. 
Oh, shoot, bro. Like, what? Like, what even is that, bro? Oh, my gosh, bro. Like, how... Does that shoot, like, through everything? Oh, my gosh, bro. That's actually so annoying. Yo, I'm dead. GG, bro. Like, what? Just because I'm close to Mega City, my FPS is, like, actually going down, bro. And it just feels more laggy. Just because I'm close to it. Oh, shoot. There's actually someone here. Holy smokes. And he has a pump. Okay, you know what? Uh, let's just do that. And then just spam these. A couple of those puppies around. Is he inside of here? I know you're in there, right? Oh, yeah. 80. No, no way I lose this. I literally hit this kid 1 HP, bro. Come on, mantle up, mantle up, mantle up. Do it. What, like what, bro? Oh my god! The FPS in game has consistently been at like 240, though, bro. This is like my fourth. Oh, and I just have that. So I guess the answer is yes. You are able to play Fortnite on Chromebook, but uh, it, it's gonna be pretty difficult. That's uh for sure. I think it, it's easier to play on a uh, old gen console than Chromebook, if I'm being honest. Maybe for a different game like CS:GO, though, where it's like really, really not too much processing, it will be better. But again, the input delay is just the biggest problem. I'm literally like slouched up because i have no space for like my legs or anything bro this is so uncomfortable i want to headshot him i'm just curious how much damage this does oh my gosh that did not go to plan okay yeah and this kid's sweaty too like bro why are these guys all good like oh my gosh bro GG, bro. At least we placed top, like, 30 almost, dude. I think out of all those games, I only managed to get one kill, and it was on an AI. At least we got one kill, though. Okay, now time for CSGO, and based on... Okay, this guy's probably gonna knife me. Oh, shoot. Okay, okay, buddy. Don't add that in. Okay, so based on how hard it was to aim in Fortnite, I'm assuming, yeah, counter strafing is just not it on this. Oh, did I just hit him there? This actually doesn't feel as bad. I think Fortnite, okay, I'm still getting destroyed, but I think Fortnite just had too much like going on. This is still hard. Okay, at least I got that kill. It's just too hard to like aim and everything, bro. It feels like this mouse delay or something, bro. Oh my gosh, the amount of delay by the time I, I really notice it in CSGO, dude. I press and it's like delayed. This is just, this is just GG, bro. Oh, okay. I just got that little nice one tap there. Okay, yeah. I deserve to die. I don't think there's any competitive gaming you're going to be doing with this laptop, but I think it would actually genuinely be good if you're just trying to play like Roblox or something. Like, I'm not even kidding. I feel like you actually could like enjoy it too. Like, you wouldn't even care. Roblox or even Minecraft, just casual games. Uh oh. Oh, he's in heaven. Ready? Okay. You deserve that, buddy. Yup. Sit down. Okay, my teammate has to get the second kill here. Oh, knew it. Oh, dude. Okay, there we go. Finally. I think just for the heck of it, just to prove my point, I might just get on Roblox and see how this Chromebook feels because I feel like that's the only thing that would actually run decent on this. Oh, yeah. I'm dead. GG. All right. So I'm really bad at Apex just normally on like my normal PC. So playing on this... It's just not gonna be good, bro. I just wanna see like how bad it is because surprisingly CSGO definitely felt a lot better than Fortnite did and I was actually able to get a couple kills because uh, Fortnite, it was just kind of impossible to be honest. I don't even know my keybinds, bro. Like don't expect any kills here. I just wanna see how weird it feels. Yeah, it feels kind of the same to be honest. If I was actually a movement player, I feel like it'd be so hard for the movement. Obviously my sense is really bad too because uh, I'm not used to this. All right, get ready to see just how bad, oh, and it's lagging. Get ready to see just how bad I am. I'm telling you, I'm in a third party one and oh wait, it's like a whole team. Bro. I think that guy. Oh, yeah, that guy's downed. Oh my gosh, bro. No. Okay. Oh my gosh, bro. This guy he just lasered me, bro. No, I'm pushing. Cracked, I think. Oh, yeah, no. He is not cracked at all. Dude, I only have shotgun bullets. I literally only have shotgun. Oh my. These guys have red shield. This is GG's. Yep. Still no chance. Probably I shouldn't have pushed them. Okay, so I'm on Roblox and there's like this Fortnite ripoff. Just want to see what this even is, bro. Fortnite? <laughs> Are you serious right now? Do I have to actually download Roblox, bro? It's not even going to let me play Roblox. So I guess you can't even play Roblox on Chromebook. I'm sure you actually can, but I just don't really know why it's not letting me. This video was pretty painful to make. So if you guys did enjoy it, make sure you drop a quick sub and click on any of the videos up in the screen that YouTube recommends. Also, like 60 or 70% of you guys that watch my videos all the time are actually not subbed and some of you guys might think that you are sub so if you're not just make sure you're sub and yeah that's about it god bless